Good afternoon. So I'm pleased to present uh, DG Matrix to you. We have a very unique power conversion engine that can apply to three multi-billion dollar markets. 98 to 99% of that engine is common across microgrid, EV charging alone or EV charging with microgrid and in data center application. This is a picture that was completed by the top consulting firm in the world. When we brought them in to realize how big this market was, we asked for their help. And, and they gave us a vision that's clearly expressed in these slides, that with the reduced materials we use and the high level of integration we offer, we can electrify villages in Nigeria, schools in Indonesia, medical clinics in Saudi Arabia, or anywhere else on the planet. We're trying to create a cellular micro-utility, and we are releasing the first pilots in um, Q1 of this coming year. Do you realize that disrupts a multi-trillion dollar industry without putting in huge infrastructure? The first product that we are releasing is a 200 kilowatt EV charger. This charger is one fourth to one tenth the size of anybody else. You're going to see the metrics coming up in just the next one or two slides. In addition, we can combine PV, batteries, EV, fuel cells, distributed generation or multi-fuel generation in a unit double the size of the one that's shown. Nobody else has this technology. We can put up EV charging solutions on highways where there is no utility and we can use the same system to also power up buildings with incredibly high surge current loads. None of this would be possible without game-changing semiconductors like silicon carbide and we're very pleased to get help from Navitas and how to apply their lowest RDS on, that's a measure of how much loss you get and how much surge power you can provide uh, transistors in our applications. Here is a, a comparison of our charger versus brand B. They've been around eight, 10 years. Brand T, they've been around 20 years. Brand C, the 400 kilowatt unit, who has spent a billion dollars of development money and, and look at the metrics of where they are and look at the metrics of where we are. We, we are so much more dense, not, not our people, but our chargers, right? And, and that density, you know what it translates to? We have, we, we, it translates to the least amount of heat that's being generated in these chargers. It translates to a far smaller footprint that can go into Manhattan, that can go into downtown LA, that can go into Seattle, where large chargers are not going to fit that easily. It's creating a multi-billion dollar TAM just by the size alone. The fact that you can now manufacture this in one labor hour, final assembly of our product is one labor hour. The final assembly of industry is 20 to 30 labor hours. So we need only 20 to 30 people to produce 100 to 200 million dollars of chargers, 1,000 to 2,000 chargers, in a factory just slightly larger than what you're seeing here in this room where we're all sitting. That is a huge impact on sustainability and decarbonization. Why? You only need 20 to 30 people to come into the factory every day. That's it. You don't need 200 to 300 people. You don't need a factory footprint of 200,000 square feet to do it, maybe 15,000 square feet. So it's all enabled by silicon carbide at first, a new circuit that we're pioneering complex controls that we're dumbing down, and a cooling technology that we're trying to make better. We look forward to even the next generation beyond this in cooperation with Navitas. And we think that we can leapfrog ourselves once again with their help. That is a comparison for fleet charging using our standard 200 kilowatt building block against Brand C. Brand C did a quarter billion last year, up double, more than double from their backlog. And now you can see why we have a billion plus dollar pipeline. We have so many customers interested in pioneering our products into the, in the field. The volume difference and the footprint difference is huge. Every major fleet aggregator that we spoke with at the last big show in Las Vegas says they can't fit brand C or brand A. Brand A is a multi-billion dollar global conglomerate 
And with their thousands of engineers, we have leapfrogged them with our technology enabled by silicon carbide. Ports, suburban FedEx stations, Amazon delivery stations, they don't have the room. Any one of those customers could be a 100, 200, 500 million dollar account for us. And we have many of those folks lining up for pilots. Here is another thing that we're changing in this industry. Our technology is putting out a LRU, line replaceable unit, at 200 kilowatts. That's a fraction of the size of people at 40 kilowatts. If you look at the, at the amount of kilowatts per liter, this unit measures about 18 uh, kilowatts per liter, if my math is correct. That's far beyond the charts that you just saw today. There are two converters. The other one is about seven to eight kilowatts per liter. So we're industry leading already. And what we think we can do in the next step with their help is going to be even smaller. So if we are going to decarbonize, we are going to electrify, why don't we use radically less material in doing it? And by the way, that's far cheaper and simpler to repair and send via FedEx than that 220 uh, uh, kilogram uh, uh, set of uh, LRUs on the other side. Why silicon carbide and, and why Navitas? Well, we tested a, a number of devices, some of them from very large companies, some of them from other companies, and we found Navitas performance for the re on-time resistance of the device to be best in class for whatever we have tested to date. That gives us an industry-leading efficiency of 95 to 97%. In addition, if we want to increase that efficiency, which is desirable for lowering operating costs, all we have to do is buy more silicon carbide from Navitas. That's it. I thought you would like to hear that. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I, if, if DG Matrix doesn't make it, I hope to launch a second career in comedy. So in addition, um, we have tested their devices, and, and the high voltage breakdown nature is astounding, how, how much it can take in spikes which really per, per points to the resiliency when you put this on dirty grids, right? You're gonna put this on a dirty grid in a developing country, you're gonna see a lot of sag surges and spikes. So that high voltage breakdown in case you have an escape is very, very helpful. But I think the most helpful thing that we find about Navitas is not based on physics or high voltage breakdowns. It's, it's based on the culture and the collaboration and the openness and the warmth that these folks greet us with, and, and they treat us as if we're somebody special. That is what drives the relationship to be a, a true partnership and not a transactional relationship. We are not after the lowest cost silicon carbide. We're happy that they make 50% margin. There's more than enough money to go around. We want that relationship so we can leapfrog once again with their help. That pipeline comes from channel partners, it comes from OEMs and it comes from end users or, or users that will be deploying the chargers on their fleets. You see some of the statements and the number one consulting firm, I'm not allowed to name them, uh, has per pointed out that we have the most potential to revolutionize the EV charging landscape. So one day we hope to be holding an investor day also um, and show you uh, what our growth is. Today uh, we're just launching pilots. In addition, um, there are customers that are pointing this out, and some of those multi-billion dollar conglomerates are in chats with us to source our charger, but put their brand name on it. That's all we have. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs>